What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. So, before I get to what I'm going to be talking about, I just got to throw out this disclaimer. Um, this is going to be a pretty explicit episode of Joe Winko Talk. And by explicit, I mean it's not really appropriate for my younger viewers who are too young to be watching Joe Winko Talk in the first place. Um, but I honestly don't really care. I just felt like talking about this anyway. It was this very interesting and unusual and kind of funny news story that happened back in summer of 2012 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This man was breaking into these men's houses, and, uh, you may ask, how is that unusual? Like, you hear stories on the news, people burglarize houses all the time and break inside people's houses all the time. Well, that part isn't unusual, but what this man's objective was to breaking inside the men's houses was quite unusual, and doesn't really happen often enough, if you ask me, but that's a whole other story. Okay, I have the news story video right here, and I'm gonna play it right now. Brace yourselves. Okay. Three, two, one, now. The Harrisburg police arrested a man they say prowled the bar scene looking for victims to satisfy an insatiable appetite for sex in a very unusual way. Police say Dewan Porter performed oral sex on unsuspecting men while they slept. And tonight, oh one man tells only CBS 21 News about the night he found Porter on top of him. CBS 21's Annie McCormick is live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg with the details. Annie? Well, Rob and Tanya, Dewan Porter is known for his DJing around the city of Harrisburg. However, over the past year, he's become notorious for sexually assaulting men when they least expect it. In May of 2011, a man reports to police a stranger climbed up his fire escape, broke in, and he woke to the strange man performing oral sex on him. That is the first of three charges against Dewan Porter that police announced today. The next two cases came a year later. Better than the ice bucket, I'll say that. <laughs> they woke up to Porter performing oral sex on them. The assaults in those two cases happened after a night of partying. He actually tried it with me one night. This man, who has to remain anonymous, <laughs> claims Porter has done this more than three times. I violently wake up because I feel a hand going in my pants. That's where it stopped. The man kicked Porter out of his house. Porter had been over with several mutual friends following a night at the bar. I'm really crazy for about three days, and really all I wanted to do was uh, hunt Ron down and uh, basically beat him into a pavement. Porter is a fixture at Harrisburg bars, often DJing at downtown clubs. According to this victim, Porter's sex assaults and attempted assaults became known in their midtown Harrisburg circle. What he didn't know is that Dewan has a history of sex assault, including while in prison in Maryland. He also has burglary charges against him. According to a LinkedIn account with Dewan's picture, it says he is currently unemployed, but did work at an investment banking firm in Harrisburg. Now Porter remains in jail until he makes bail. Now, police think that there could be more victims out there. They are urging them to come forward. The man that urging was spoke to today says that he forward. knows that there are more <laughs> Interesting victims out word there. Choice, he also right? says that Porter should be careful if he does make bail. He believes a lot of people are very angry if they see him back on the street. For now, we're live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg, Annie McCormick, CBS 21 News. All right, Annie, thanks. Okay, so you guys got to look at that. Not what I talk usually, not the kind of stuff I usually talk, I've ever talked about in Joe Winko talk. Um, yeah. Consider this video a turning point. But, I'm gonna try to stay appropriate as possible. Maybe the guy has a protein deficiency, for all we know. I don't know. <laughs> so, you guys see what I mean? And when I first heard this news story, I was like, is this real? It has to be fake. Did this really happen? Uh, it's pretty real. And uh, just like the cookie dough story. And after a while, I did believe that stuff. Because some 
guys, some people are actually into that and actually fantasize about that. That's their turn on or whatever you want to call it. Their turn on just so happens to be to sneak inside someone's house and put their mouth on them and pleasure them. But uh, all the guys were angry at him. But I bet you this, if it would have been a female doing all that to them instead, like a girl sneaking to the house and sucking the guy off, or, yeah, going down on the guy, none of them would have minded at all. Um, I mean, the only reason why they were so mad is because they're homophobic. And if being gay wasn't so stigmatized in society like it is, none of those men would be upset or angry at all. I mean, because, well, at least from my viewpoint, like, I wouldn't be upset or angry. For all, for all of you who don't know, I'm only attracted to men. Um, but if a woman broke inside my house and started sucking me off while I'm asleep and waking me up, I wouldn't be, well, yeah, I would be kind of mad because she broke inside my house. But like, I wouldn't be mad that it was a girl doing it I would just be like whoa what the hell are you doing get off me that's a man's job go do that to someone else <laughs> that's what I would say to her um and to be honest with you guys uh something like that actually kind of happened well they didn't she didn't break inside my house it was I was at a party and we were playing this weird game where I sit down naked in a chair and they put a blindfold over my head and they put me on a chair like this and then they spin me around and there's guys I thought all guys were all like lined up around me and then they start pleasuring me and then I have to tell which one it is and when I took off the blindfold, it was a girl, and I was like, whoa, what the hell? And then everyone is laughing at me for it. But, yeah, I was wild during my teenage years. But, um, yeah, but I wasn't angry at all. I was just like, what the heck? I was just kind of a little freaked out. Um, well, not freaked out, no. Not sure what word to say. I was like, whoa, never thought I'd have a girl do that. Geesh. But I wasn't mad at all, and I didn't want to beat anyone up or anything. I actually just thought it was funny and just laughed along with everyone else. But, um, if this really did happen in real life, if a man broke inside my house and started performing oral sex on me, if I didn't expect that, and if it was a stranger, or even if it wasn't a stranger, if it was just someone who I know as an acquaintance, like a DJ I saw somewhere, I honestly would be freaked out. Yeah, because he broke inside my house. But also, I'd be thinking, okay, did this guy steal anything? What else has he done? Is he gonna try to flip me over and fuck me in the ass? Or is he gonna ask me to fuck him in the ass? Or is he gonna ask me to start sucking him off? Because those three things that I just listed, I don't do any of those. Yeah, I'm what you call a pillow prince. But, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I'd be worried about, and that's what I'd be angry about, too. But if that was, if it was all clear, I wouldn't be mad at all. Just being honest, might as well be. It's my YouTube channel. And for all the people who are into that, here's my advice for you. Just find a guy to be friends with and... Just get to know him, trust him, become sexually involved with him, make sure you're both ready for it, and then spend the night with him, and then while you guys are sleeping, like, then you can go do it, and there you can fulfill that fantasy you have. Because if a guy, because I wouldn't mind at all, I'm not sure about all guys, and definitely not sure about females, but if a guy wanted to do that with me, I'd be totally fine with it. But as I said earlier, I'm not sure about females at all. Because they're quite different from guys. And uh, after a while, I thought about it. And for him, I really don't think it was a fantasy. I think that he was legitimately doing this to be secretive or discreet. Like he was, because as the news story said, he was well known and he didn't want anyone to find out at all. So he just thought he could get away with like sneaking in and just pleasuring guys without them knowing it. And he didn't think they'd wake up, but of course you're going to wake up with 
all 600 nerve endings, which are included in a shaft and a head, so, duh. But it's all the more... He was just worried that someone would out him. That's what I really feel like it was. That's what I'm concluding from that story. That's why he was trying to be secretive about it. But then he kept trying it again. I think... Well... Someone's sexuality, it's no one's business but their own. But they shouldn't be ashamed if someone found, finds out at all. They seriously shouldn't be because it's just them. It's natural for them and it's what they prefer. Just like someone liking a favorite flavor of ice cream or a favorite kind of cereal or whatever the hell analogy you want to use. But, yeah. And it's kind of sad when you think about it that way, that he felt like he had to do that. And now he's in prison and go, well, well, he got in trouble for that and everything and probably will be a sex offender because that counts as sexual assault. Eh, but oh well. So, what do you guys think of that? Uh, feel free to type about it in the comments. And I forgot to say this, too. Um, as I said earlier, if a guy I knew broke in and started doing that with me, and, I, and everything was clear, he wasn't going to do anything else, that's all he wanted, I wouldn't be mad at all. But once I woke up and he ran out and left without finishing me off, that would get me pissed off. <laughs> I mean, because come on, that's like giving someone cookies without milk. Except they're the ones not getting the milk. Okay, I don't mean to gross you guys out. But then, if I saw him on the streets, I'd be like, Dude, what the fuck? You owe me, you owe me an ending. You didn't finish me off. That's what I'd say. I don't know. I'm weird. So... Yeah, please let me know what you think of that whole story. Just type it in the comments, what you thought about it, and did the guy deserve to go to jail, or what do you think, what do you think he should have done instead? I don't know. And what do you think the guys were all angry? Do you think they were all homophobic, or I don't know. Yeah, whatever. So that's it. And as I said earlier, Carolina Maniacs is on its way, so be on the lookout for it. Well, there's actually a lot left to go, and, uh, but it's still on its way. I almost got all the voice actors for it. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like me on Facebook, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and do not forget to donate to my GoFundMe. And that's it, so... Peace out, people.